It's a miracle. Uh, sometime he want to be a Buddhist, a Jewish. I think he is now is a Hindu. No problem. Don't remind me of what I made a mistake once. I was in, you know, doing a speech in India, even though I never been there. But I took my flying carpet and I went there without visa. So I say to the Hindus, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? Man, oh man, you will not believe what happened. They were converting to Islam like crazy. I will never say that again. Hmm? Uh, Free J, he says, if God made Adam and Eve, why did he create gay love? <laughs> <laughs> my friend I want you with your gay love to have a family and have kids when you do that let me know because love you know when you say love you know me you made me love when you have such a love the love will bring a fruit okay now you are gay and you have love are you going to have a baby soon because of this love you see, the nature is proving everything to be right or wrong. Is that the nature? Can you have babies? Can you have a family? When I was doing my master's degree, you know, uh, you know, many liberals around me. So I told them if everybody became a gay, the nation would be destroyed and economy would collapse. Why? Because the one who pay for your retirement today is somebody born at least 20 years before. So if everybody have a gay love, as you call it, then the nation will die. <laughs> this is self-destruction. So you can do your love, my friend. This is your understanding of love. This is just a sexual fantasy you have in your head. But the nature is a woman and a man. Ah, I never heard of adoption. So you want me to do your job. <laughs> so you want me to go and have boom boom with the real women and then you come to me and say sir can I borrow the chadra from you I want to adopt him <laughs> anyway potato this is not our topic you know have fun with your love enjoy it all right Take a hike. I am the ignorant. So in order to get a baby, you go to someone is a straight. I thought your love is self-sufficient. Anyway, not our topic. Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, can we get discount in the, uh, you know, the, the, the discount stories is very funny. I mean, Amazon take most of it <laughs> and give me little, and then people, they want to give me discount, give me discount. You think I'm the one who make the money. <laughs> Do you know how much they take? <laughs> how do I call you? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, my Skype, the admin is posting my Skype. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us and show us the ethic of a Prophet Muhammad. He was very ethical. Anyone? My friend, don't ask me questions have nothing to do with our topic. People asking me questions in the chat I have nothing to do with the, we have a topic that the ethic so we we that's it we, we change it now don't you want to hear a muslim answering refuting us if we are done so we can say who have a question and then you guys you can give me questions I have nothing to do with the topic if we are done but for now 
maintain your topic. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Anyone? You can group, you can call any of those famous ones in YouTube, you know, ambush me. Do you know like Mimi Hijab, he ambush, ambush, apostate prophet, why they don't ambush me? <laughs> Couldn't they surprise me? Uh, why you don't create a platform saying your books? My friend, just please, for God's sake, ask questions about our topic. Focus with me. Forget about my books now. Do we have any Muhammad and want to show us any good ethic of a prophet Muhammad? Anything? Anyone? After I finish and we hang up and we go and then you will see the Muslim comment coming like rain. Yeah, and he claimed, no, he did not text me. He called me and I called him back. He refused to answer. He called himself Anouk. This is the only uh, uh, call I received. I called him, as you see here. No answer. So don't tell me about him anymore. We don't have time for kids. What do you think about Muhammad being the most influential? Well, you know, uh, being influential doesn't mean you are good. As an example, Osama bin Laden in certain time, he was number one topic in the whole world. You open any TV stations, everybody's speaking about him. His influence is, we have security. Three times more before Osama bin Laden. So here we go. His influence, his guy is dead. They feed him to the fish already, to the tuna. But until now, we have a security check in the airport. We stay for two hours to get in the airplane. Our airplane ticket became three times, four times more expensive to cover those security, you know, things and the machines and the people they hire, etc. Just because of his influence. So what influence mean? Hitler have influence. Most influence or influence person is a joke. However, it's very funny that the most influenced one is Muhammad, but you ask a Muslim, what is the time now? What is the year? What the year is shown in your computer? They will say the year of after the Lord. So who is the most influenced? Even the atheists, even the Buddhists, even the Hindus, even everybody, they go by the year of Jesus. Every single salary in this earth is paid by his name. <clears throat> if there is any verse in the Quran says he's holy, no, the word holy in Quran actually mentioned only a few times. <clears throat> uh, you know, the word holy. as holy like there is a word uh, uh, in Arabic which is a clear 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 use for holiness which is Quds or Muqaddas if you ask a Muslim what is the name of the city of Jerusalem they will say to you Quds Quds is the extreme holiness and here we ask ourselves why the Quds is not Mecca even the Quran when he speak about the extreme holiness we speak about the Jews 